Hey, what's up guys? This is Haxton Mags bringing you another black and white 2PO battle and today we have an OU battle. Yeah, I know it's OU. I've been playing it a lot, but um, right now it's sort of just a standard tier, you know, with all the black and white 2 stuff released. Everyone wants to test stuff out. So, um, it's basically just a standard tier and um, when all that does die out, I definitely will be going back to some lower tiered stuff. Maybe some Ubers. I'll try that out again with the legendaries, but um, for now and probably the next couple of days, I will be doing a lot more OU. So, um, Today, um, it's a battle against Jedi, Kudai, or something like that. I found him on the PO server, um, late yesterday, I think, but, um, I'm using the team, the Choice Brand, Breloom team, that sort of core thing, but I did make a couple adjustments. I won't mention them in this video. You guys can figure them out. I might do another live PO with it because it has done pretty well for me. So, um, yeah, let's get on to the battle. I'm going to lead off with my Rodom as he goes out into Tornado Ethereum form, uh, Replayer still does not uh, show the sprite, but I know he has a Gastronaut on his team, so first turn, I'm just going to go straight for a will o -Wish and cripple that Gastronaut, which does help on very much later on in the battle. So now I'm going to switch out into my Alkazam, as uh, he switches out into his Tornadus again. I know it outspeeds me, but so that's why I have to switch out, and I don't know why he didn't go for the U-turn, he just hard switched straight out into his Bronzong, but uh, I want the Ditto try and sponge that U-turn, but he goes down to Bronzong, so I copy the Bronzong. And uh, we're both going to get up our rocks, and because I'm Scarfed, I do know I have to switch out, and he probably knows that. So he went for the Earthquake, but well, luckily for me, I did switch out into my Rotom Wash, so it will not affect me. But now I'm going to double switch into my Breloom, predicting the Gastron to come back in. But he goes for the Gyro Ball again, and here I make a bit of a misplay. I go for the Low Seed, forgetting it lowers your opponent's speed, so that Gyro Ball will be doing a lot more, and will be enough to kill my Breloom. So that was a bit of a misplay. I do lose my Breloom pretty early on in the battle. Not content up my Specs uh, Heatran, and even though he does have the Polytoad on his team with the rain, Specs Heatran will do quite a bit to that Polytoad. I kind of wanted to play it safe. I didn't want to over predict or anything on that Bronzong, so I'm gonna switch out into my Rodon Watch. And because my Breloom is gone, it is the only thing that could take any water type attack. So um, from that damage, I do know that Polytoad is Specs. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna go for the Willows on it, trying to get some residual damage. But he switches out into his Gastrodon, which was a good play. Gastrodon does check Rodon pretty nicely because does not have HG Grass, but I am Wrestle Chest though, so I can get the rest off before he surfs. So Rodon will be staying um, in the battle a bit longer, but I know I can't touch this thing, so I'm going to switch out. Pred predicting another surf, so I'm going to go out into my uh, Ditto once again, as he goes with the surf, like expected, and I get that plus one special attack. But even with plus one, Gastrodon is not very offensive at all, so you'll see these Ice Beams will not be doing a thing. And then he gets off a free recover, so uh, that's not looking good for me, but I do know that at the same time, this Gastrodon cannot touch my, uh, me as well, so I'm just going to stay in and keep going for Ice Beam. As he sends out his Bronze, I'm going to try and take it. It takes it very well, even at plus one, because like I said, Gastrodon sucks. But um, I'm just going to stay in going for the Ice Beam. I'm not sure it could really touch me, but then he shows Earthquake and does 50% almost, so I'm like, crud. But I know I can take another one, so I stay in. Uh, he switches out into Terrakion, predicting me to switch out or something. And the Ice Beam does do reasonable damage, but I know I can't stay in on this thing, so I just switch out into my uh, Hippowdon, who is very physically defensive. And then I know I can take any uh, physical move from this Terrakion, and from that damage, I do know that is a Scarf Terrakion, so that is very good information to know. Um, but now in comes this Bronzong, predi predicting an Earthquake. I'm, no, I know better than that, so I'm going to roar him out. Unfortunately, his Gastrodon does come back in, so I do know I have to switch out. And um, I send out my Ditto once again to try and uh, get that Storm Dream boost from the Surf, which I do. But I'm guessing he didn't really care because, uh, as seen before, uh, Gastrodon is not very offensive. So even that plus one won't be doing anything. I choose to go for Earth Power this time as he will relax to go for the recover, just like before. And this turn, I do predict him to switch out into a uh, Flying type of sorts uh, to take the Earth Power. So I switch out into Heatran as he goes out into Glyscore. And I know that uh, Timid... Max speed Heatran can outspeed the standard 72 speed Gliscor. So I'm going to go for a Specs Overheat, which demolishes that uh, Gliscor easily. And um, uh, that's great for me, but his Polyto does come back in, get the rain up. I know I can't stay in, so I have to switch out into my Rodon Wash. And he's going to go for a Specs Hydro Pump. And from the damage last time, um, that would have killed me either way without the crit. So um, I'm going to have to be sacking a lot of guys now due to these water type attacks because nothing can really take it. So I, I go in a Ditto, copy that Polytoad, trying to get some damage off, but I completely forgot he had the Gastrodon still on his team. I thought I killed it, but apparently I didn't, so this Gastrodon is uh, pretty trolly right now, so he's going to get the plus one special attack. 
I have to sack something else I choose to pile on. Even though this Rakion's still on his team, I still can't deal with it with other Pokemon, so um, I just relax to get the sand up and let my Hippodon die to a plus one surf. But now I'm going to switch out into my Alakazam, predicting him to switch out into Bronze Lock or anything like that. I'm going to go uh, set up a free Calm Mind, and I know from that range this Bronze Lock will easily die to my Shadow Ball at plus one. So um, Alakazam will be doing a lot of work in this battle. I was kind of behind, um, but Alakazam will kind of even up the score. He's going to go into Politoed to get the rain up. Pretty good play because my Hippodon is now dead and um, he does have permanent rain on the field. I'll just take it out with a plus one side shot because I know it's fetch, not Starf. But his Tornadus comes in and I did predict him to U-turn, so I switched out into Heatran, but he goes for the Hurricane, and um, I don't know why U-turn would have gave him switch advantage, but he could have stayed and went for another Hurricane, but he was fearing me being Scarf because I outsped his Glass score. I guess he didn't know that, so I just went for the Dragon Pulse because it hits the rest of his team neutrally, and I, from, uh, and plus, and two Dragon Pulses will be enough to take out that Gastron after burn damage, so that's great. But in comes this Scarf Star Terrakion. I know I have to sack my Heatran if I want to save switch him into something else, so that's exactly what I do. Um, but I know he's locked in uh, close combat at this point, and I know from full health, Alakazam can take one Scarf close combat from this thing. So uh, Alakazam just barely hangs on, and I am able to take it out with a side shock. Those defensive drops definitely did not matter, but um, it's, he brings in his last Pokemon, which is a Tornado Styrian form. Um, I know Alakazam does have to die because it outspeeds Alakazam, so... Um, Luckily for me, my last Pokemon is my Ditto, barely lives on with Stealth Rock damage, and then I'm able to go for a Scarf Hurricane to finish the battle, and then that's why he forfeit, because the replay ended there. So, that is a great game, Jedi, Kudai, definitely very close in the end, a 1-0 victory for me, but, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, if you enjoyed the video, remember to uh, like it, and leave a comment down below, and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.